hand painted enamel for only six dollars. This is a score right here. All right. Well, we are still here in New York. We are in Oneida. My hair's a mess. Um, we are in Oneida, and we are sitting outside of the Eclectic Chick Antiques. Um, we were we were actually uh, invited here by a viewer that we bumped into over at Madison Bachville and she works here. So she's like, oh, you should come and check it out. So here we are, coming to check it out. Um, Andrew's gonna stay in the car, Laurel's asleep in the back. We're gonna let her get her nap and uh, he's gonna bring her in when she wakes up. But let's head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, the eclectic chick. Antiques, primitives, eclectic finds. Let's see what we can find. Everybody needs to see this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Set up like a vintage diner. Please do not touch display. How cool is this? Wow. Now they did tell me at, at this time they have an event center in the back and they're having an antique show of their own. So I'm gonna make my way back there and see what they have in the way of antiques. These are really heavy crackle claws. Look at this little guy. And this is fun. Juliet and Ashton love tie-dye. I'm gonna try to think of something to bring home to them. Maybe not tie-dye though. Laurel! She would probably look really cute in this. I think we'll grab that for Laurel. Here's a vintage booze. Let's see what we can find here. Lamp. Oh, I just saw some of those at Goodwill the other day. It's kind of fun. Frog. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> Frog fantastic. Yes, it is. That's great. 125 though. I don't know if I can spend that and still expect to make money on it. That is great. Somebody painted it to look like Mackenzie Childs though. <laughs> um, this is the area of Mackenzie Childs. So I'm finding a lot, a lot of actual authentic Mackenzie Childs. And it would make sense. Somebody would paint that to look like her stuff. So this um, this place is more than just antiques, obviously. But it's kind of fun to shop around and see what other things they have. This is adorable. It's so soft. And this blue opaline here, if I can figure out how to open this, is six dollars. Oh, come here. Let me pull that out. It's blue opaline glass. Hand painted enamel for only six dollars. That is amazing. Ooh, okay. Um, the vase, on the other hand, is 85. This is a score right here. All right, I'm gonna stick that in my cart and keep going. Let's see what we can find in here. That's kind of a nice vase. They're calling it Murano. Let's take a peek at the bottom. Ooh, it is beautifully polished on the bottom. Maybe it is Murano. Here's a Mackenzie Child's bowl for $79.85. Gosh, I don't know much about <laughs> Mackenzie Child's though. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. And uh, here's a teapot. How much for that? It was $78.85. All right, well here is another booth. Looks like it's got some damage to it. This is neat. Signed heart bowl. That's a cool heart bowl. What is it signed? Hmm. I don't know what that's signed. How much is it? I should have probably looked at the price. It's a red signed heart bowl. Um, $39. It's kind of neat. I like the fact that it's signed, so I think I'm going to pick it up. I'll stick that in the cart. 
Let's see what else we can find back here. That's pretty substantial. Antique enamel wear. Those are really fun. There is some wear on them, but I feel like with enamel wear, you know, the dents and the dings can kind of add to character. It's not something I mess with usually, though, because I don't know it very well. Um, let's see. Lots of carnival. Hmm, Austria Airline. 80, oh, it's on sale for 56. Oh, less than a handkerchief. I'm not sure, I feel like that's probably around retail on that. Because it's the white one. Um, there's some paperweight glass. 36. Mm, cloudy bottom. Lots of fantastic glass in this booth, though. What do we have on the outside? Oh, look, there's the coffee pot that goes with those uh, canisters. Oh, look at the bear. Oh, I love him. Let's pull him out. 29 on him. Oh, he's, got, he's so cute. Look at him. I really like that. Yeah, let's grab that. Oh, I love that bear. Oh, Murano. Oh, there's a Zanetti bowl. I just sold a Zanetti bowl. There's another one. That one's 99 though. I think I paid less than that for the last one. These are really cool. Look. There's a lizard on it. A figural lizard? Those are neat. 45. Looks like the lizard fell off the other one. Oh yeah, it's broken there. That's a shame. That's pretty neat. Here's a decanter set back here. Um, I believe this is USSR. $22 on that. A lot of the times the stopper is missing on this set. That's when I actually saw saw these. Um, somebody was trying to sell these little cups or glasses. They maybe glasses, um, shot glasses for six bucks a piece. So this entire set is twenty two. I'm pretty sure it's USSR. The last time I bought it, that's what I found. Um, twenty two on that. Mmm, it's been a while. You should probably look up. Well, actually, I don't really have a signal here. I already tried using it. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll give it a shot. Signal. I just went from SOS to LTE, so let's give it a try. Okay, so here it is. Um, it looks like it is selling for about 37 plus shipping. These are actually shipping from Ukraine. So I don't know. I think I don't think I could pay 22 for it. It's still you know a little under retail, but um, as far as buying and flipping for a profit, I don't think there's enough money there after I have to pay fees and for my packing materials and all of that. So. We're just gonna keep going. That's a cute little bunny. A little dirty though. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, Laura would like that, but she'd probably try to put it in her mouth, so. Maybe art glasses what caught my eye. A couple insulators. What is this wooden thing? It's a bank of some sort. And over here, there is some um, cut to clear. It's kind of nice. Oh my gosh, it's this fella again. <laughs> this time the dog is painted brown, so it's obviously not a donkey. It's a dog. <laughs> Albert E. Prince Clown. Huh. They were actually able to identify it. All right then. I just knew it was from Italy. All right, and carousel horses. Let's go this way. Circle around. They have some fabric here. 
few pieces of pottery. See, one of the things I noticed was this Raku down on the bottom shelf. I want to get a closer look at this. Let's see if there's a signature. It's Sanchez, untitled, $40. In 1975. Interesting. It is a canister. I don't know, 45 I love my Raku, but I'm not sure at that price. Ooh, what do we have over here? $12? Wait. Yeah, 12 bucks. Okay. I'm like, am I reading that right? Is it 95 No, this is booth 95 The fent is 12 bucks, And this one is 15 Oh, there's shades? Wait, I'm going to use... Oh, there's shades. I thought they were vases. Interesting. I feel like they're still worth more money, but I don't want to buy any lampshades right now. I have too many lampshades to get rid of. I'm actually going to leave them behind. They're probably worth quite a bit of money. Let's check out the figurines. I see a little hillbilly hound back here. This one is Japan. I collect the ones that are made in the USA. Some cute little owls back there. I've had those guys before. I think we're going to take him with us. And I love all these little mushrooms. I think that maybe the... A uh, vendor makes the mushrooms because there are a lot of them. Some of these glass thingies. Bird feeder. Somebody made a bird feeder. There is a Fenton Angel. She is 22. <laughs> Look at this. This is like a tiger. Four dollars. Tiger ashtray. It's kind of Art Deco in style actually. <laughs> is that a tiger? What is that? spots on it. <laughs> All right, I like it. I like it. I'll take it. Um, and then this little thing right here for four dollars. I know those can sell pretty well when they're a complete set, like a three-piece set. So I think I'll take that as well. I love, I love these. These uh, designs usually remind me of Clary's Cliff. They're made in Japan. But there's a nice luster to that. It has that Art Deco style, similar to Clarice Cliff. It's not, um, but I think I'll grab that for five. And then we've got this guy, seven dollars and fifty cents, Italy. That's an Italian spaghetti dog. You can tell because the noodles of the spaghetti are a little bit thicker than the Japanese. No, it's common when you find these guys that some of the spaghetti is broken, but just kind of to be expected so I'm gonna grab him and look at those birds back there let's get a closer look at those hi Laurel how was your nap so check out these birds $15 for this set that is so darling that is a salt and pepper shaker as well made in Japan I don't know though at 15. I think I would leave it. Um, and actually, as soon as Andrew was pulling up there with a the stroller, this caught my eye for 15. That could be Murano. So we're gonna take that with us. <laughs> $15. I've never seen that form before. So I'm actually gonna sit that in here because it's gonna wanna slide. Look at these cuties. 55 for the set, I think. Yes, 55 each. Aren't they so darling? They're so cute. I just don't know. I'm sure they're worth 55. I'm sure that they looked them up. Those are adorable. I've never seen those before. Those are so cute and kitschy. And look, here's Miss Pris. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Dainty. Miss Dainty. Miss Pris is the cat, right? If Kate was here, she could tell me. <laughs> Back here, we've got some really neat decanters. I don't know if these were the original stoppers, but I like the combination. $48 on this. That is kind of fancy. A little wobbly though. Lots of crackle glass in this booth. And this one in the back is Blanco, I believe. $44 on that. Mm, wow. Lots of neat glass. This one is crackle glass vase with aqua leaves. Here's another really cute set of salt and pepper shakers for 32. I 
I just don't know them well enough. <laughs> so I'm just sharing them with you because I don't know them well enough to be willing to take a risk at $32. There's Neil the Frog. I do know that one because Neil the Frog is named after my dad. Not actually though, that was a joke. I just found this really epic candle holder and there is no price on it, which is kind of a bummer. I found it right here on the shelf. I don't see any other tags just hanging out. That sucks. <laughs> so I think I'm, I'll just ask him if they can maybe call the vendor. So the prices in here are pretty reasonable. $9.95 on this dish. I'll tell you what, the prices in here are amazing. <laughs> Some of these things I'm like crazy good. Six bucks on the blue opaline. Nine bucks on that. That's just crazy. All right. I think we're gonna get out of here in a minute because Laurel is losing patience. But there was one thing I saw back here that I wanna get back to. Well, you know what, I wanted to pick one of these up for Juliet. That's why I'm gonna grab her. I don't know where the last one went that I got her. But she's still having trouble with her knee. X-rays came back clear, blood work came back clear. I figured, you know what, let me get one of these for her to put on her knee when it starts to bug her. I'll grab two. Well, you know what, I'll grab three. And Ashley can have one too. Alright, <laughs> this is where I walked by and I was like, ah, wait a second. I think this is potting shed. It is potting shed. It's a potting shed cat. Oh, 50 bucks. I don't know if I can do 50 on it, but it's so cool. Ugh, I recently found all of those potting shed pieces, um, and I've been selling through them, but this is really neat. And then over here is a bear, also potting shed. Polish pottery dish, this is cool. Two gallon vintage Heinz pickle jar with fake pickles in it. Alright. There's a lot of ground to cover in here. here in this cabinet. <laughs> 25 on the rose bowl. That's crazy. I saw one of these at Goodwill a few weeks ago and I didn't realize it was an open sugar that goes with a creamer. It wasn't priced so I couldn't buy it. <laughs> I was pretty bummed at the time but now I know that there would have been a creamer that goes with it. That's a pretty color. Pretty purple glass. How much is that? Twelve dollars and ninety-nine cents. Pass that. I guess I'm being more picky because we spent a ton of money so far this week. It's got me being a little picky. Sonia Rinconata for $12.50. I haven't seen the seal before. He's kind of cute. <laughs> what is this? Peter Potts, $34 on that. Oh, that's a cute little owl. $43 on the vase. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, what is this weirdo? 25 on that. That's fun. Whales made in Japan. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if I can do 25. 